They say lasting connections don't just happen, they're built. Like the way we built the brownstone, from the ground up. See, there's hundreds of thousands of Jewish students on college campuses around the world. Most of them are finding successes individually, but haven't found a strong connection to each other. Not good. Because the Jewish people's greatest strength comes from unity. When we're united, we make revolutions happen. So here's the fix. We bring groups of these guys together in New York City. Not in some stuffy hotel, or camped out in the rec room of the Y, but to this really cool brownstone in the East Village with six floors, a roof deck, a pool table, people from all different backgrounds, nationally and internationally. Great people like Sherry, who just finished up at USC in publishing. Jared, who's studying biotech at Penn. Jonathan and Daniel from Michigan, who are convinced they can change the world with green technology. And Ari, who's studying communications at Tel Aviv University. 50 motivated, interesting people hanging out together to discover New York City and how much they have in common. They check out places like the Statue of Liberty and Empire State Building, Broadway, and Wall Street, but also some places that have a special significance for who they are, Ellis Island and the Lower East Side. Along the way, they meet amazing Jewish personalities, politicians, business people, and educators, people who are doers, whose passion for the Jewish people and commitment to Israel are at their very core. In the meantime, our guys get a taste of what it means to do things in a Jewish way, like the way we do Friday nights. It's a killer 10 days. A spark is ignited, relationships are created. Being Jewish takes on a whole new meaning. And then they all go home. End of story, right? Actually, no. That's where the whole thing takes off. Because Jared goes back to Penn really jazzed about everything he's learned and everybody he's met. He connects with other Jews on campus. Out on the coast, Sherry joins a rally for Israel for the first time in her life and starts telling her friends that it's Israel that stands for human rights in the Middle East, not the other way around. And Jonathan and Daniel decide to make a Shabbat club in their dorm where everybody pools together to make this really great meal and they sing and eat and basically have a great time being Jewish. And here's the kicker. Those two guys from Ann Arbor? They're still in touch with the guy from Penn. And he's actually met this Jewish woman who's best friends with Sherry from USC that was on his brownstone trip. And Sherry, well, she landed this summer internship in New York with the publishing company run by the speaker we had on Thursday night. And they all have an open invitation to visit Ari when they're in Israel. And, well, you get the picture. Meanwhile, back at the brownstone, the next week, we play host to a group of young Jewish professionals who are about to start networking with people they couldn't have imagined they'd ever meet. They're leaping ahead in their careers and doing all kinds of cool stuff. And it's all with a firm grounding in who they really are. And after that, the Brownstone hosts young Russian-speaking Jews from all over the city who are learning about being Jewish in America and bonding with their own community. And then a special week for our Israeli division, building bridges and giving some of the tens of thousands of Israelis in New York City a place to call home, celebrate holidays, catch a Shabbat meal, network. All at one address on East 12th Street. Now imagine doing this every week with more and more young Jews from around the world. The Brownstone experience opens them up to new possibilities with the Jewish Foundation. They're stronger, more giving people. That's because they're connected. See, the Brownstone isn't just a building. It's building a community. It's laying the foundation for the next generation of Jewish leaders and for the very future of our people, one brick at a time. The Brownstone. <laughs>